grab it out of the Edinburgh Assembly. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God be the glory. Yes, let us all be part of the program. Hallelujah. Amen. Those new people are also going to be assigned to take over. And we are also, as a new assembly, going to offer to help them. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us all be connected in spirit and pray that what God has purpose will come to pass and will give him glory and an adoration. Amen. Or oh, shall we give that one to our Lord? Our Lord, God bless you. We have some leaders in our midst. We want to really acknowledge them. Can you give me a wave as you are here? God bless you for coming. God bless you. We are all special guests in the house of God. God bless you. I can still see some elders at the back. Could you please join us up front, please? Uh, so that uh, those of us who will be late can also join from the back. So all, all elders with all uh, sincerity, can you please move forward? Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. So all oh, dickens and dicknesses, can you please give us a wave and let's acknowledge your presence. All oh, dickens and dicknesses, God bless you for coming. God bless you for coming. Uh, we have our brother and our friend, Elder Samuel Quimu, who is the PC presiding elder, and he also does up as an executive member. God bless you for coming. We have Elder Akufu, Bedu from Glasgow. Elder, God bless you. We have Elder Asante, Edinburgh Assembly. Elder No, Edinburgh Assembly. And we have Elder, Elder Jemphy, Robert Jemphy, also from Edinburgh Assembly. God bless you all for coming. Elder Edum Atta. God bless you for coming. I'm not familiar with the name, so you just pardon me for that. And then we have Elder Obogi and Obogi from Glasgow Central. God bless you all for coming. We have our area women's leader in our midst, Dickness Rose Akufu Badu. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We also have our Reverend Minister and his spouse in our midst. Reverend Dr. Phil Kumi and Mama Bridget Kumi. God bless you all for coming and we all acknowledge you as such. Any of the other dignities that would follow you to just let the entire church know. We will call Brother Michael Nano to give us our first scripture reading. First Peter 2 verse 9. Brother Michael Nano. chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special procession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Amen. 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 God, bless, God bless you so much. Mr. Nano will lead us in a time of praises and we will take our tithes to us for Mr. Nano. In a time of praises, we will also take our tithes. Hallelujah. Amen. I think because of space, we just continue to face the street and wake up. It's on. I am blessed and highly favored. I am blessed and highly favored. This is my day. This is my plan. This is my
of the Lord. Be in expectation. Something good will come to you before you leave this auditorium. Amen. God bless you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to acknowledge our district women's leader, Dickness Mavis Adumata. God bless you for coming. And our district permanent leader, Elder Anon. God bless you. God bless you. We have Elder Kojo Odru from Central Assembly. God bless you for coming. We have Elder Frank Amwaku, right from Aberdeen. Elder Albert Otu. God bless you for coming. We have Elder Ben Ado, District Executive Member, and in Pier Central presiding. God bless you. We have Elder Ernest Nyaku. Elder Ernest Nyaku, also a district executive member. Elder Fred Dampa, God bless you all for coming. We want to acknowledge all of you for coming and God richly bless you so much. At this juncture, we want to go to the throne room of grace. We will invite Dickness Esther Asafu Ejim.
forever and ever. Every day will I bless you. We will bless your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised. And his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall love your works to another and shall declare your mighty works. Indeed, there is none like our God. There is none that we can compare to him. The only thing that our God cannot keep is to exalt his name. That's why you and I, he has created us to do this for him. So it's a small thing that the Lord is asking us. Look around you. Look around you how gracious it has been to you and exalt his holy name. No one
appreciate you. Um, we are all here this morning as our um, elder Anno gave us the purpose. Today is the inaugural service for um, PIWC in West Logan. Amen. 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 And I was uh, big, I, I wasn't sure what to say. Um, now, before I continue, you know, we told our leaders that um, we started in a church today and we call it uh, PIWC West Logan. And they said that, nah, that's too myopic. Why? Because what we're meaning is that this church is the entire area of the council. And he says, then he said, oh, yes, because uh, we're hoping that maybe we will get a bigger place. In Livingston, mm -hmm. and we will say, No, what if we start another church in Livingston? Mm -hmm. So they said that from today, it will be called PIWC Stony Burn. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
We thank God that today we seen this study in the church. And so today I'm going to speak about the church and the authority of the church. Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 to 19. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? So they said, Some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon by Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. Amen. Amen. And the gates of hate shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Our desire is that God grant us keys. Whatever doors that we open in this area, it will be as it has been opened in heaven. Amen. It will manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. We've been giving keys to heaven. But quickly, there are three things that I want to point out in the scripture. One, he's speaking about the rock. Rock. You are Peter, and upon this rock, I will build my church. The two is church. Church. This is the first time in the New Testament Jesus talked about the church at least in two occasions. One here is Matthew chapter 16 and then Matthew chapter 18. He talks about the church. So I will build my church. And then the other is keys. And we're going to look at the interaction of these things to have understanding what he's talking about. Of course, we know that, I don't want to go into that, the, the, the rock which he's referring to is not Peter. Amen. Amen. You are, so the Greek translates, you are Petrus. Upon this Petra, I will build my church. Now, the rock he's referring to is the revelation of the Christ. This is the rock. Why? Because Jesus is the foundation on which the church is built. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11, For no other foundation can any man, anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And then, you know, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 says, And all drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. That rock was Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ is the foundation upon which the church is built. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I will build my church. The church is built on the foundation of the revelation of Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Now, the word church is not how we use it. Now, now we, have, we all understand that the church is not a building. The church of God, Christ. But then we have the institution. This is 